Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Armohan and you are watching Ninja Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all doing well. God will give you more happiness for you all. I try my level best to give you a latest update about Iraqi Dinar. So guys, let's start today the information. I find myself questioning why the reinstatement of the Iraqi Dinar hasn't happened yet. If the exchange rate is supposed to reflect the assets of Iraq's oil-rich economy, then why is it still artificially suppressed? Before 1990, the dinar's rate was around $3.22, so why is it now only 1 16th of a penny? The war ended 21 years ago and all Chapter 7 sanctions were lifted a year and a half ago. Iraq is producing one-third more oil than it did in 1990, and its monetary reserves have reached historical highs, including up to 150 tons of gold. Numerous marketable assets are now in play, not to mention the dollarization and all the banking and anti-corruption measures that have been implemented. I believe that Iraq is being held back by an all-or-nothing mindset, as the country needs its currency to be active on the global market, especially to attract foreign investors. My contact at the Central Bank of Iraq told me why the project to delete the zeros is stalled, but I won't go into those details here. I think we need to hold tight and wait for the current U.S. administration to change, particularly the part that is influencing the U.S. Treasury and pretending to collaborate with Iraq. The chances of an RV happening while the Democrats are in power are slim to none. I have strong knowledge from my CBI contact that this is what's causing the delay. The U.S. Treasury has not yet given the green light for the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, indicating that certain international financial processes and agreements might still be pending. However, let's examine the current situation in Iraq, which is making significant strides after years of turmoil and instability. The Iraqi government has undertaken numerous reforms to enhance security, stimulate economic growth, and improve public services. The international community is keenly observing these developments, and when we hear that Iraq has done everything they needed to do, it implies that Iraq has fulfilled several critical steps necessary for its advancement. First, let's discuss political stability. In recent months, Iraq has experienced a more stable government, which is vital for attracting foreign investment and earning the trust of international partners. Following key elections, Iraq's political environment has become clearer, providing a more predictable landscape for investors and allies. Next is economic recovery. Iraq is actively working to diversify its economy beyond its heavy reliance on oil revenues, which have historically been susceptible to price fluctuations. Diversification efforts are aimed at creating a more resilient economic foundation. Iraq has indeed taken steps in this direction by launching initiatives to boost sectors like agriculture, tourism, and technology. These efforts are crucial for creating a balanced and sustainable economy. Infrastructure development is another key area of focus. Enhancing infrastructure is essential for facilitating economic growth. The reconstruction of roads, hospitals, and schools has been prioritized by the government, which has allocated substantial funds and sought assistance from international organizations to accomplish these projects. Finally, security remains a top priority for Iraq. The government has been dedicated to combating terrorism and ensuring the safety of its citizens. By focusing on these areas, Iraq is building a foundation for a more prosperous and stable future, laying the groundwork for potential economic milestones such as the revaluation of its currency. The safety of its citizens is a priority for Iraq, and progress in this area can create a more welcoming environment for investors and everyday citizens alike. Let's delve into why July has been highlighted as a significant month for Iraq. Experts believe that July holds importance due to previous discussions and developments, which might be tied to targets set by the government or international partners. There are expectations of announcements that could signal further political or economic advancements. When considering the perspectives of experts and analysts, many express optimism about Iraq's direction, believing that the groundwork has been laid for potential breakthroughs, However, some remain cautious, highlighting the necessity of continued efforts and the risks of potential setbacks. 
For the average Iraqi citizen these developments bring hope for a brighter future. There is a strong desire for job opportunities, improved living conditions and a chance to rebuild lives. Yet, as July approaches, uncertainty remains, making it crucial for everyone to stay informed. Observing how Iraq navigates the upcoming weeks can provide valuable insights into the nation's future. It's important to remember that the journey may have ups and downs, but staying engaged is vital. As we conclude today's video, I encourage you to reflect on Iraq's journey. Progress takes time and requires patience, but it is undoubtedly achievable. What are your thoughts on Iraq's current situation as we move toward July? Do you agree that they've made the necessary strides or do you believe more work is needed? Let's keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please like, share and subscribe for more content like this. I appreciate your time and support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.